Hello, it's Solimik. In today's video, we will be testing Vivor's heated ultrasonic cleaner that meant to be used for cleaning car parts. So in my previous video, I used this cheap ultrasonic cleaner that meant for cleaning jewelry and glasses, but it does the job, but it's not like this one. Alright, here is the ultrasonic cleaner itself. It has a cover and also a basket, and I will get to that why we need this basket. Let's take it out of the plastic and check it out. So with the higher frequency ultrasonic cleaner, you're not going to be able to put the object in the center and get in contact with the bottom. It will damage the ultrasonic cleaner in the long term. So the object has to be floating in the fluid and getting cleaned. The cover will be handy because when ultrasonic cleaner is running, it has annoying and loud frequency sound. I hope it will dampen the sound a bit, but we will see. Alright, here is the heater controlling buttons. You can turn it on and off here and also change the temperature depending on what you're cleaning. And here you have the timer from 0 to 30 minutes, how long you want to run the ultrasonic cleaner. Here is some more information about this ultrasonic cleaner. It's a 40 kHz ultrasonic cleaner with a capacity 1.3 liter, 60 watt digital control panel, working time from 0 to 30 minutes. And also it has a heater to heat up the cleaning solution and help better penetration with cleaning. Cleaning solution, I will be using simple green all-purpose cleaner in this video. It also has the looting ratio at the back, depending on the wrench how deep you want to clean. This is my first time using simple green for cleaning car parts, but I've seen very good results from people who use simple green for cleaning car parts. But in my previous videos, I used seafoam or fuel injector cleaner for cleaning fuel injectors. Of course, with using ultrasonic cleaner. Alright, let's open the cable that came with it and plug it from the back. And now we're gonna fill it up with simple green. I'm not gonna dilute it with water, I just wanna be concentrated as it is. So here I have some old fuel injectors and we can see it has some carbon buildup on the tip. And let's see if it can clean it without using any brush. Alright, we're gonna set the temperature on 50 degrees Celsius and wait till it reaches that point. Next, I will set the time for 10 minutes for cleaning. So we're gonna wait a bit till it reaches that temperature. And when it reaches the selected temperature, this light will turn off. Now I'm gonna put the fuel injector with the basket in and turn it on and leave it for 10 minutes. Alright, while it's running, let's put the cover on so we can see how much it's damping the sound. It works okay, I wish it has a gasket around it so it dampens the sound more. But for now, I'm gonna take it off so I can see it. Alright, it's done. Now let's take it out and check the result. I can see a significant result at the tip. It had some heavy burned carbon buildup on the tip, but most of it being removed. And here if you look at the before cleaning, how it looks, and here it's how it looks. Only the first and the last one, we can see it's a bit remaining, but we can put it in and turn it on again. But this one was only cleaning for 10 minutes. Soon I will be removing fuel injectors on my 2017 Toyota Camry and clean it with this ultrasonic with using same solution simple green and show you before and after how it looks in that video i will be covering cleaning and full rebuilding of fuel injectors on 2017 Toyota Camry stay tuned for that it will be very soon the video was not sponsored i bought the product with my own money hope it came with a gasket to dampen the sound even more when you put the cover on but overall it works really good i'm really happy about it i will make sure to put the link in the video description box below Hope you guys found the video useful and learned something new. If it was, like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.